In this Helix Minute video, we'll talk about impulse responses, also known as IRs. An impulse response is like a sonic fingerprint that captures the characteristics of a room or piece of gear. It's done by recording how it responds to a full range of frequencies. The speaker cabinet, speaker, room sound, any number of mics and their positions are all reproduced. Any outboard gear used like preamps, compressors, or EQs are also captured in an impulse response. All this information is saved digitally as a WAV file. Guitars and bassists often use IRs to access different microphone and cabinet combinations. This technology allows elaborate studio setups to be used in just about any situation. To get started, you can download a free IR pack courtesy of Dan Boole from 65 Amps. Use the link provided, sign up, and download the Allure pack. Let's save these to the desktop so we can find these for easily importing later. Connect your Helix family device to your computer via USB and power it on. Then open the Helix editor software on your computer. On the upper left side of the editor window, there are two tabs. Select the one that reads Impulses. We can manage our IRs from this tab, including importing, exporting, renaming, and clearing these files. Select any of the 128 available slots and click Import. Navigate to the desktop and select the desired IR from the Allure pack. You can also use Shift plus click to select multiple IRs simultaneously, or you can just drag and drop IRs from any window or the desktop into the IR list. Once the IRs finish loading, they're ready to use on your Helix device and you can add them to your signal chain the same way you would any other type of effect block. You can place the IR block after an amp block in your signal chain. Turn the first knob to choose which IR file you want to use. That's all for this Helix Minute. If you'd like to learn more about Helix, please visit line6.com for more in-depth videos.